Now, if I really must work instead of Victor on this such a beautiful Sunday, I decided I will promote myself. Now, this particular car looks great in front of this business building. And what is special about this business building is that my headquarters are inside and I work with natural cosmetics. On first sight, it's absolutely nothing in common with the car, but it's not quite true because this car is a hybrid. Yep, eco is cool these days. Cosmetics, food, why not cars? Of course, this is hardly the first hybrid we've tested, but it is one worth a good look. And if we're doing that, I can't forego commenting on its shapes. Those of you older than 30 and our BMW fans will probably have a crisis looking at this car, while the younger generations most likely won't care too much or you'll call it boxy. Cars evolve over time, they grow and develop with each passing model, but that's usually only enough for us. The millennials will want something more, an iPhone-enabled Tesla, so there's still more work to be done. In our tests, we usually show you how big the trunk is, so you can imagine if you buy it. And because it's a hybrid, this trunk is a bit smaller because batteries are installed somewhere from here on. And right here you have cables for electrical charging and ski bag, and that will take you about this size in depth. On the inside, the hybrid isn't really any different than the regular petrol addicts. Let's start with the seats. Nice, comfy, leather wrapped and full of electric motors. They don't just heat, but also cool and massage. Harman Kardon sound system and more electric motors. And then some more! A guy's toy then. They really played with a lot of buttons on the test because our team is comprised of five-year-old adults. Me included. We now already know the infotainment system can be controlled with hand motions. What we haven't shown is the 360-degree parking. Well, we did, but not in detail. The screen actually shows you a 3D model of the car and places it into the area the cameras have captured, allowing you to visualize your surroundings. Wait a second, that Audi is huge! Or maybe not. Computer witchcraft. The system also warns you of obstacles. Additionally, it draws the intended path according to where the front wheels are pointing. So, we just had to show you all this cool stuff, but let's move on now. How does a hybrid work? The basic idea is simple. The car has two engines, a classic internal combustion one, as well as an electric motor. In this BMW, both power the rear wheels. Perhaps you've heard me talk about the weight of cars before and how much every extra kilogram affects its handling and consumption. Why then would you want to drive around with a heavy electric motor and batteries? The answer lies in that very motor. Electric motors have mountains of torque, which is available as soon as you power it. This means it's absolutely fantastic for acceleration, the act for which classic engines drink the most fuel for. This hybrid allows you to cruise around a city exclusively on electric drive. The beauty of the integrated system is it will automatically turn on the internal combustion engine, if required, and help accelerate. Now that you're at speed, there's another perhaps less obvious bonus of electric motors, regenerative braking. Sounds weird, but it's simple. When you begin braking, the electric motor turns into a generator, helping slow down the car, saving your brakes, but it will also charge the batteries. The latter will help you get more distance on an electric drive alone. Cool, huh?
You can choose between three settings in the 5 series. Automatic mode makes sure the ride is silent and electric up to 80 km per hour. Max E Drive allows electric only driving up to 120 km per hour, while the save battery is logical. It will keep the battery levels where they are and drive on conventional internal combustion. There's also a phenomena I have observed every time I drove a hybrid or fully electric car. Driving became a game with me, trying to save every little bit of electric distance and use as little fuel as possible. Something we could all benefit from. I'd also like to mention the infrared camera and the obstacle warning system. The camera at the front shows you a thermal view on the infotainment screen. Perhaps you'll think this is but a toy for rich people, but I have to say it's a great piece of equipment, especially at night. LED lights are nice, but the thermal camera will show you a lot more, while the system will automatically color any people or animals in yellow and warn you. Not only that, if any of these will get into the path of your driving, the computer will flash a beam of light at them, warning you of their presence. As I was driving at night through a town, my path was crossed by a cat. The car flashed a narrow beam of light at it and then followed it with the same beam until it moved off the road. It's a fantastic piece of kit, which will keep you and others much safer at night. You will also be able to see any deer near the road long before you get to them, allowing you to slow down and avoid an accident. BMW 5 Series. It could also be Mercedes E-Class or Audi 6 Series. We can all agree that this car are actually superior. But what I like most about this car and driving it is you simply go and enjoy peace and quiet. The cheapest hybrid 5 Series will cost you 60,600 euros, while one with pretty much all the extras is going to jump up to 106,000 euros. There is something else I have to tell you. You see these? These are used to solving limestone. And instructions right here at the back seems kind of complicated. So Victor decided to simplify them. And if you want to see them, well, link is somewhere up here. And the funny story is that BMW actually put this into their manual guide. Yeah, right. 